Just thought I'd call and wish you goodnight I left my key under the mat I don't get anything done, you're stuck in my mind Good morning guys, how's everybody doing? My makeup for the day it is Sunday it is the day we lost an hour of sleep <laughs> and we're heading out to barrel this morning we are going to a tulip I was gonna say festival it's not a festival a tulip we're gonna go look at tulips okay apparently there's a whole nice show and we're gonna go check it out I have moved into my granny era and I'm loving it <laughs> here's actually this weekend is a long weekend so I guess people are going to be out and about. It's probably a great time to, am I doing too much, to have something like that on. Barrel is like just an hour and a bit, an hour and a quarter away from us, which is not too far at all. The weather is meant to be so hot today. It's meant to be like 37 degrees or something today, Celsius that is. And that's hot. So in Barrel it's actually meant to be a little bit cooler. So I'm excited about that. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I do have a few of those Shein outfits that like I need to take some pics and I usually like to like, at least wear one thing so then I can, you know, kill two birds with one stone so to speak. I can like take a pic <laughs> while I'm out with an outfit. So I'm not sure because initially I wanted to wear the bright orange, like a, the shirty wrap thing. I still haven't even tried it on. But um, I, that's what I wanted to wear because I thought th that would be really nice because I'm feeling like the chul tulips would have yellows and that in there. Maybe the bright orange top would go. But I'm still thinking it might be hot. However, because we're going early in the morning, I possibly could get away with doing it early and then possibly if I wore a top underneath, I could just take the shirt off and then I'll be okay. So I'll try that on. I just don't know what I'm going to wear down the bottom. I haven't really figured that out. I initially thought that that shirt would look really good with jeans. But thinking about it now, my eyes are way too hot to wear jeans. I'm gonna, I wanna keep the makeup a, a little simple today. I don't wanna, because I'm probably gonna be wearing my sunnies most of the time anyway, so I'm just gonna keep it neutral. So I'm, I'm just gonna use my old Tati palette. And when I say we, if you're new to my channel, it's usually me, my sister, and Angus because that's how we roll. <laughs> I can hear Chippy outside the door. He just got back from his walk with his grandma and. He's probably not going to be too happy that I'm going out for the day. But I ha actually had Saturday, Sunday off this week, which was great. So I'm off today, but then I'm back at work tomorrow. But the double time and a half. If you know, you know. I think this is a New South Wales ho holiday. I'm not sure. But if you are from New South Wales, let me know. What did you get up to on the long weekend? I know it'll be a lot later by the time I pop this up, but I still like to know. But I'm going to go ahead and pop on a podcast and get my makeup done. So then I'm doing okay for time, but I know I'm a bit of a rambler. Okay, the makeup is done. I went for pink lipstick and then I realized if I'm wearing orange, it's going to clash. But I haven't worn pink lipstick in ages, so I wanted to wear it. Anyways, I don't know if I shared with you guys, I had got the Emco Beauty. This is the setting spray. I got it, I feel like a while back now. I just hadn't opened it up to use it yet. And I thought, let's give it a try today, because why not? Shake well before use. Okay, give it a shake, shake, shake. All right. We'll see how we go. I haven't been using setting spray as much, because I feel like they have alcohol in there, and I probably shouldn't be putting that on my face every day. So I try to limit to a couple of times a week. So then that way, because I find sometimes around my nose area, my, my face dries out a lot, so I don't want too much dryness. But uh, time to get dressed. Oh, no, but the color looks bluish in my viewfinder however this is the outfit i went with i don't have much time to set up i have to leave right now i was like okay i need to sync my <laughs> because my hand is saying eight o'clock but it's nine o'clock uh but this is what i decided to wear i changed a million times i'm in that mood where nothing fits me nothing looks good i don't have anything like summery and flowy that i like so seeing as orange is the color of the moment i'm gonna wear my orange top with this skirt and then some nude shoes and that is that so i'll bring you guys along so let's get going this feeling my girl wanna say we'll be high you come on over we're in the car now and we are nearly there we're just in Mittagong. there's been a bit of traffic because it is long weekend time i'm with sonia and angus angus driving there's a at the front there and you can see the traffic in front of us yeah you're kind of <laughs> but we'll be there shortly 
I feel like all these shops are all, well some are open, some are closed. Actually, what's the time? No, it's early. Oh, how cute are those vintage dresses? That one looks cute. All right, see you soon. Don't you miss me too? Give it all you got, babe. Give it all you got, baby. I'd rather try than lose you. Give it all you got, baby. Give me all you got. I'm used to saying good morning because I normally start my vlogs in the morning. However, it is evening now. I am going out. As you guys can probably tell, I'm all dressed up. <laughs> well, let me show you guys my dress. I've worn this one before. It is from City Chic. It is just a long maxi one. And then I'm wearing like these kind of, what are they called? Platform style cork shoes that I got them from Big W. But this dress I've worn a few times and I love it. Like I just, it's just so comfy and it's kind of flowy and nice as is. I feel like it's a little booby, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and the weather outside was warm today and now it's a little bit windy, but I feel like it should work because I was just not in the mood to like look for something. I didn't want to wear anything tight. Although I am wearing my shape around underneath, but it's like my old one, so it's like loose. Well, well maybe not loose, but it's not restrictive. <laughs> And then I have on some earrings. But anyways, I haven't even told you guys where I'm going. It is Nathan's birthday tomorrow, if you're new to the vlog. Nathan is my nephew. And tomorrow, he has plans. He's having some friends over. And we also have plans to go out. So tonight, we are going out to dinner. Me, my sister, and the fam. We're hoping to go have some ribs. So we're going local, which is pretty good. Because I still have to get up early tomorrow. Because I do have a morning shift tomorrow as well. I worked early this morning. I've been so behind on my vlogs and I haven't been vlogging so I don't even know where I've updated you guys and where we're up to in life but I figured today's a good day probably to vlog and maybe a little bit tomorrow. I know normally I don't vlog when I'm out and about because you know being in public and all but I thought at least I'll share some outfits or share a little bit of what we eat and you know take you along for an evening in the life of. But yeah as I said I really need to like sit and think about this regime of how I'm going to vlog and do my life because I feel like the shift work is a little bit taking a toll on my body in terms of doing things after work, especially if I have a morning shift, like I'm quite exhausted. And I do edit, but that's taken me a long time. But I've edited all of the holiday vlogs, which I'm so happy about, so now the normal ones will come. And I've done, I think, one fashion one, and I was meant to do one this week, and I didn't get a chance. So hopefully next week I've got a couple of days off together, which is actually really good because it feels good. Sometimes I pick up extra shifts in those days. But you guys aren't here just to hear me ramble on about work. I do have to get going, but um, I'm not going to give him his present today because his birthday is actually tomorrow and I will see him tomorrow. And I'll try and record him opening up his present because I kind of like you guys seeing the reaction because I always find that fun to do. But in the meantime, let's get going. Okay, so we are having dinner here by the beach. This is Brighton Beach. I've showed you guys heaps of times. See the water in the background. Let me show you guys everyone's outfits. Well, we have Sonia. We'll start with Sonia. Well, Nathan's the birthday boy over here, so we'll start with Nathan's outfit. Sonia's outfit. Where is your dress from, Sonia? Oh, David Lawrence, David I think Lawrence. you said. Because <laughs> a few people have stopped her to ask her. There's Angus with his white sneakers. I never noticed him. <laughs> and there's Christian with his European fit. And that's where we're going to Hurricanes. But I, I'll give you another view of the water. It actually looks really quite nice today. Oh, there's the airport, the planes. Okay. I use the uh, Nice biscuits and then that's my little ice cream. So hopefully it tastes good. It's a new creation. We uh, shall see. Do we need spoons? No. We're gonna need that. No, it's like an ice cream sandwich. Mm. <laughs> try the. We ended up getting some of these to try. Which one's that one? It's the pineapple show. Lime. Pineapple and lime smoothed off. Smells very nice. 
But it doesn't have that. It's not strong. No. Doesn't it taste like when you get the soda water with a hint of flavor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it tastes exactly can't like taste that. Any we alcohol, also can't tried taste this one with the peach and lime. I can't taste any lime. Yeah, but no. you can't taste well, the I alcohol. Drink it. It's not. It's, I don't mind. I it. Drink yeah, it. Yeah, but I finished. It's like a drink. You I can't finished the other one, but they just they taste like seltzers. That's man. right. Like, they're not bad. I mean, they're not they bad. Just taste like seltzers. I think their seltzers yeah. were worse, but these ones were better. I've still got the taste of the peach in my mouth. <laughs> this one's not super. Yeah, I, think, I like yeah, the pineapple ones. I like the, the pineapple ones. Honestly, better. the one that I got, the, the one black one, the, with the lemon, is probably the best one. Yeah, it doesn't, taste, it doesn't taste, taste like a salsa. It tastes yeah. like a shit. Minus 106. They're, they're alright, so if you want something that's like a very taste light. Like oxygen, bro. <laughs> Maybe you gotta like wet the knife. Put it in the oven. In the hot water. In, in the, the oven. oven. <laughs> no. Alright, the air fry. That was good. <laughs> It's the next day, it's Sunday today, and I was at work this morning, but now I'm ready to go out. I did not have time to film any getting ready with me, so I thought I'd still share my outfit with you guys. I am wearing my new earrings that I got from Macedonia. They are so pretty. I don't know if they work with the headband, but my hair was not hearing today, especially because at work I would have to wear it tied up tight all the time, so then I just feel like I just, I can never fix it if I'm going out the same day. But I did get this dress from Common Re last weekend, I think it was last weekend, with my sister. Let me put the camera down. My sister and I had a girls day and we did a little bit of shopping. So I got this dress. Oh, you can't see all of it. I'm wearing it with these shoes. I'll pop up a photo on the screen so you can see the whole thing all of what I look like because I'm definitely going to take a picture. But it is so cute. It's like flowy. It has pockets as well, which is really nice. Buttons all the way down and I love the like little tie up and it's so like girly and summery and I love the look I've got wearing this bag and I'm just wearing my sheen shoes but I do love the look that's it from behind I just feel like it's so like girly and pretty and perfect for like this kind of weather as well so I will bring you guys along if I can I'll see what I can record you guys know the drill it's always hard when you're out about especially like last night however as I love to share my outfits I, got, I did get this on sale though so I think it's one of the like sale items but really pretty made it to Nathan's place so as I said I'll record him opening so that way you know what I got him Nathan's okay. having a little party with his friends. Nice pods. Beautiful. Well, I tried to get you things that you eat. <laughs> Kinder chocolate. Also That's his latest uh, phase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look, find his dress. Man, Back to Nathan. Oh. I have no idea. Jewelry, though. I have, have no a look. Idea have a look. Have Ooh. No, me. Oh, what you got? wonder what you got. <laughs> I wonder what I got. Exactly. It's always fun when you don't know, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> where's, where's the everyday gift you're meant to be wearing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The little skulls. Yeah. Little skull little guys. And gold, which is good because I needed gold earrings. Which is really, really perfect. Nothing, nothing. Just thank you, whatever. And then, by the way, I hope you like that one because I, I wasn't sure which style, <laughs> but it will come in handy. No, as in the writing, because I this is the style I liked with this writing. I don't think he's going to care. There was one that didn't have the lines, but I, I like the two lines. But it would be good for everywhere. Oh, just the, they just have different. This pictures. one I feel like is the OG, or maybe it's not. I don't know, but I like this Look, one. Look, it's big. It's good. It's beautiful and yeah. black. Yes, yeah, so the I feel exactly it. like I like. What? It feels bigger than Christians. Do you think? Or is it just because know. it hasn't been. I don't know. I yeah, don't. but then they're all made a little bit different. Yeah, I see a I lot of people take them with them travelling. That much. And there that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, your yeah. card. <laughs> I wonder what the card is. Oh, what would the card look like? Oh, I forgot to take the price off the bank. <laughs> I need to know that. I just saw the card. The card price, but you don't need to know. I don't even know. No, the lady told me a country that she took the price off. <laughs> and that's By the way, blue writing on a blue background. It's purple writing. That's bro. I'm going to need my glasses. Is it not purple? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he used a purple. It's, it's purple. Blue. It it's purple. It looks like <laughs> Happy.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. to end the vlog here i always say when i have to go out and film i want to catch these events like birthdays and things but it is so hard to film when you're out like it literally is all the noise and the music just is not good so as you guys can see i had to put in a little bit of music there in the last clip i'm literally just editing it now so i can get it up for you guys i did want to share a little bit of a story time when we we're over at the tulip festival thing majiggy wasn't even a festival it was just like a little park that had tulips in there they looked really pretty but if you guys could see by the footage, it was so, so windy that day. Now, I really liked my outfit and I wore these shoes that were like, um, I showed you guys, they're like a platform style. So comfortable. I've had those things for years. I used to go on dates with those things and literally just walk around like I'm walking dates and walk around and walk around and had no issues or anything. However, it's been a few years since I've worn them. And possibly because I hadn't worn them in a while, maybe they have a bit of a film on the bottom of them. And I popped them on here at home and I thought, oh, they're a little bit slippery. But then I was like, you know what? If I'm walking on concrete, I won't have any issues because concrete is concrete, concrete, you know? And you can always like scuff them a little bit. That's what I thought you could do. So I had them on and then we we're walking and we we're on our way. It was luckily it was towards the end of the day and we we're just going to go on our way to have like a coffee before we left. Literally just finished crossing the street and my foot gave way because it was slippery. I was literally on the concrete bit, but it was like, you know how they have those cutout things in the ground so then they could lift it to go underneath for some reason. I don't know what, but that was still concretey as well. But somehow the shoes were just not doing well. My feet, feet gave way and I fell. It was so embarrassing. So, so embarrassing. You guys, if you hear all my like plus size stories and everything, I feel like as a plus size person, it is times 10 the embarrassment big person falling everyone just laughs i get it people falling is funny for others but in the moment i was like oh my goodness but then you know the funniest thing is with that my sister and angus have been with me when i've fallen in the past and i've done the like just leave me alone let me like calm my thoughts together then i will get up because first of all it's the embarrassment that sets in the fact of like everybody has seen me fall and secondly i'm like okay how am i going to get myself up i need to hold on to something and i'm in the middle of a footpath there's nothing to hold on to and people are walking past and like strangers are like do you need a hand and i'm thinking oh my goodness just leave me alone and i was like no thank you eventually angus gave me his hand and i got up and i was like okay it's okay it's fine it happens whatever i still laugh because i know my sister and angus want to help but they know like they've been with me i've come a couple of times now i've said this before my biggest fear is falling in public and it's happened to me so many times my sister says this because you put it out there you say it's your fear and then it's like it comes to you so those shoes are now gone i've thrown them out no one i don't want anyone to have them either i'm not donating them they're in the bin they're gone um never to be worn again so nobody else falls over however it was an enjoyable day i forgot to film because we did eat after that like we had we got some i think what yes we, we had sausage roll and some sausage pie not sausage pies meat pies from that bakery that everyone goes to i forget the names oh, i forgot it was a while back now that was like probably at the beginning of october and now we're in november so that's how long ago it was but i thought maybe if i shared the falling story it might help somebody else because you know what after all that i got up and i was like who cares like so what mind you i had taken my shoes off and then i was walking around barefoot because i was like i'm not putting these things on again so you know what it happens to all of us doesn't it and i've lived to tell the tale so it's okay embarrassing things happen to all of us regardless if you're plus size or not and i shall leave you guys there i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog there are more to come and i'll see you guys in the next one if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing hit the like button comment down below let's get my videos around to others why not let other people share in the joy and i'll see you guys soon thank you for watching bye